Howdy, my name is Rocky, and I am a historian. I study old things. Today we are going to study arithmetic patterns with my assistant Cleo. Hi all. First let's review what a pattern is. A pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects. A pattern will help you predict what will come next. Look at the toys and see if you see a pattern. That right there is a duck, turtle, duck, turtle, and a duck. I bet you can predict what toy would come next Cleo. A turtle. Let's now explore patterns on an addition table. Addition tables help us add to find a sum. Why do the teal boxes here all contain fives? That's the commutative property. The diagonal line shows different ways of writing five as the sum of two different numbers. For example, four plus one and one plus four. Three plus two and two plus three. They all equal five. You can see this pattern for all numbers on the addition table. What happens when we add two even numbers, Rocky? An even number plus an even number is even. But when two odd numbers are added the result is an even number. Can you see any more patterns on the table Rocky? I notice the numbers increase by one as the numbers in the row get larger. They also get larger by one as you go to the right. Let's now explore patterns on the multiplication table. Look at the row next to the two highlighted in blue. What do you notice about these numbers? They are skip counting by twos. I think they are called multiples of two. That's right. Let's find another pattern. Look at the row and column highlighted in blue next to the two and beneath the two. Wow. When you change the order of the factors, you still get the same product. That's the commutative property. Two times five is 10, five times two is 10. That's right. Okay. One more pattern. What do you notice about the multiples of 2 and 4? Well let's see, 2 times 2 equals 4 and 4 times 2 equals 8. The multiples of 4 are double the multiples of 2. Here is another example. 2 times 6 equals 12 and 4 times 6 is double 12 which is 24. Now, the student becomes the master. Great job Cleo. Thank you and thanks for joining Rocky and me to review arithmetic patterns. Keep practicing.